show you guys is, uh, is this. Um, uh, on that particular sweep, what's very important is that you understand when you have an overhook and they have an underhook, as long as you keep that pinch, you basically take away their post. They have literally zero base to your left, to their right. So as I go here, and I get this over over here, and I immediately start to turning on my side, he knows that arm's gonna get straight. He typically starts pushing back in, and I wanna switch my hips, lift, and I wanna keep pushing this right here, up over his left, uh, right elbow. You see that right there? It's already done, and then I sweep here, and you just turn the hip, and come back up, so it's not the key lock in. You know, okay. All right, Andrew, uh, Neon Belly Skate? Uh, yeah, so I know a couple, but okay. the one that I have trouble with is just like the one across the hip. And what I want to do is just the one where you or I would control this arm. Okay, I'll, I'll, I wouldn't let you do that because I, I can toss that one. And then, but then I'd scoot under, right? And then you would essentially go this way. Correct. But so it, I, and I want to keep floating so that I don't let him scoot me this way. Okay. So it doesn't work this way, correct? Okay. So there's a couple things you can do here. So let me let me show you things. You have to be mindful. You got to be mindful. Number one, that you want to make sure that they're not getting into your neck here, because he's got like a baseball choke here. The other thing you don't want them to do is get an underhook on this arm here, because now you're going to either get straight arm locked like this. Or he's gonna turn and he's gonna go for a 180 arm bar or key lock or his full Eureka <laughs> plot is in all that stuff. Okay. So look, so I'm here. First thing what I wanna do, my objective is the quickest way to get this knee off the belly is like this. I block it right here, and then I block right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop the hip off. Follow me. He needs to follow with this leg. If you block this leg, and you just kind of block here so your arm is safe, very difficult to continue to stay near the belly too much. So, go side to side. So you go near the belly. It's right here. I'm just blocking that leg because he needs this leg to continue to follow, otherwise he loses the angle and he loses the knee on the belly. It's the quickest, most effective way to get the knee off the belly because they have to commit. And what you do is you keep the hand here like a hook so he can't follow you. And I want my left elbow more so pinched so he doesn't have an underhook, okay? So now as we go here, I'm gonna scoot. He's gonna follow me with that leg. You see, I'm turning, so I'm basically removing the angle because he can't do knee to the belly if I'm on my side. But the great thing here is that as I scoot here, okay, you also are able to get the underhook because you're setting up an underhook by hiding your underhook. That's the fastest way. Okay, so there's one option here. The next one, let's say you're here, okay. And he did this here, and he pulled his hand, uh, uh, your hand, off his thigh. Because that's what I would do. I take my left hand and pull this right off. Up, up. I go right here. I go palm up. I go lift. And I would just push it right back into half guard right here. And go in on the knee. That's another option. And that's a good option because it's a safe one right here. Because now he's got to work and he's got to do his whole thing. Okay. Sometimes, you're here, you get the knee to the belly, and you just already go right here, palm up on that, in, what do you call it, shin, and lay here like one, here, and then you get the underhook right away. Because you want to set up that underhook. So if you're not going to go knee shield, you got to go for that underhook. And it's all right here. It's literally right here. Okay, one more time. Here, so let's say he grabs my wrist, I can bring it down here. And I'm here, look. Up, push here, and immediately get that under. Two options, 
blocking, cupping his shin. And then if he's kind of like up, okay, really driving in, in, you can get really fancy here. Right? Here, so here, I'm gonna go turn to my side and he still continues to get knee to the belly. Look, go here. Sometimes they're really persistent like Davis and you turn to your side and then he still keeps driving that knee into you here and look my left knee comes through here go right through here okay just grab here here now he can't work here whatever now it's hard for him to release that leg yeah, now it's stuck. So we're here. When they're going knee on belly with, with that particular escape, is it when they're super high? Because that's the only one I It's when you turn on your side. I can't do it when I'm flat. So, because I'm here, I can't do it from here. So I gotta be turning to the side. But he's like really persistent, and I don't want him to mount right here either. So I bring my leg in, and my left hand goes. My left hand goes over my top, and I lock it right here. Okay, and I keep it bent so I don't straight arm lock myself and then I go here. Now from here, I scoot my hip underneath him. Right here. Here, and then you keep pushing this out. Out, 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 out. In a way. That's a real fun one. Okay. And I can trip. So, option one, here, come up here and just lock that right there. Just no, 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 that's it. And just start scooting away and blocking right here. That's it. I can't follow him with this leg here. You don't want to block it like this with your wrist. You want to just block it like so. So I can't even step around your head either. Because that also you don't want. Because here, if I go here, now he's on the side and then I step around the head, then he's even got another problem. Okay, go back. I just want small movements. So one, two, we're blocking here. Small movement, two, hit. I can't even follow. But don't put the hand here. Put the frame here. Yeah, yeah right here. Just right here. Because doing the same thing. There's just a small movement. Just walk that way. And keep it here. Keep walking. See how you let my leg fall? Don't let this leg move that way. Just walk it right here. Yes. Yeah. I'll slowly move your hip over. Here, so you go palm up right there. Here. When you're here, you leave that hole open. Okay? This when you're here, you also don't want that either. Okay? So you, you're here, because that's all you need. Just frame right here. Don't grab anything, don't grab anything. Just okay? And now from here, lift and push me right in the half guard. So this is Nisha. Forgive Nisha the other person. Okay. So he's gonna recognize. But remember. From here. But what I want is set the whole knee on the mat. So here. Yes. So straighten your leg and lift and push it all in. Okay. Now from here, if he had the hook, that's fine. But here I would prefer because his arm was here. Okay. I should tilting this way and he goes immediately for an underhook and goes essentially for the back and then if he's turning to his side here I keep persisting the belly here his knee goes through here yes grab that knee pinch right here so I can't remove it and slowly start moving your hip to the right that's a little bit. Just going on like this. The most effective one can help you block that back. I can, I can, I can.